Hello, grade five, and how are you doing? This is Miss Susan. Today we will solve together my chapter seven checkpoint test. So stay with me. The first question with us is explain how you would model five times through third. So this means I should add two third together. So if I have shape, any shape, and I will divide it into three pieces. Okay, so I will divide it into three pieces like that. Then I will color two out of three. So I will take this shape and this part with me. So this is two over three. This means I will have five of the two over three. So it would be two over three plus two over three plus Okay, so how we will add it? In case that we have the same denominator, so in this case, we have a rule here. It's telling me if we have the same denominator for uh, the fractions, I can add it by keeping the same denominator. What is the same denominator? It's a three. And add only the numerators. How many numerators? We have 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8, plus 2, it will be 10. So, 10 thirds. And this called improper fraction. Why it's improper fraction? Because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So, what is the denominator? It is 3. So, 3 plus what will give me 10? 3 plus 7. But 7 is still bigger than 3. So, repeat again. 3. So 3 plus 3, it's 6. 6 plus what will give me 10? 6 plus 4, but still 4 is bigger than 3. So in this case, I need also to repeat uh, 3 one more time. So 3 plus 3 plus 3, now they are 9. And the remainder here is 1. So now I have 10 up. And all the numbers are equal or less than the three. So all the number will give all the numbers up will give me a proper fraction. So in this case, how many whole one we have here? Three over three is one. Three over three is one. Three over three is one. Now I have one plus one plus one will give me three. And the final fraction with me now is one over three means one third. Is that easy? And if you multiply 5 times 2, it will give you 10 over 3, and you will do the same sequence, okay? Or the same steps. When you multiply 2 thirds by a fraction less than 1. So if you multiply any fraction, like 2 thirds, this means the number will decrease or increase. If you know that any fraction is a part of a whole 1, a part of something, this means it's not a complete one, it's a less than one. So if you multiply a fraction by any number, the number will decrease. So what about multiplying fraction by a fraction? So this means the number will be less than the fraction itself, right? So this means the number will be less than both the two fractions. Am I right? Hope that you understood. Two third multiplied by six. How will I multiply? I multiply. The whole number here, its denominator is imaginary one. Right? So how I multiply? Numerator with numerator, denominator with denominator. So let's multiply. Two times six equal twelve. And you know how I teach my students to sing the timetable? Timetable 6. 6 to 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48. This timetable 6. And they always memorize timetable by this way. Okay, 3 times 1 equals 3. So in this case, is this a proper fraction or improper fraction? 
of course, improper fraction because 12 is more than 3. So in this case, what is the rule again? Repeat the denominator up until you get a proper fraction. So what is the denominator? It's a 3. So re repeat 3 up. So 3 plus what will give me 12? It will be 3 plus 9. So still bigger than 3. Repeat again 3. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. It will give you 12. So now I have four whole numbers. This is 1. This is 1. This is 1. This is 1. So the answer will be 4. Or simply you can divide 12 divided by 3. Ask yourself 3 times what will give me 12? Go from the less number to the greatest number. Say time table 3 with me. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So 12 is timetable 3 times 4. So 12 divided by 3 will give me 4. Now let's go to the next question. Here, this 7 is a whole number and it has its denominator as 1 because it has no denominator. So its denominator will be 1 because if you divide any number by 1 or multiply by 1, it will give you the same answer. Am I right? Of course I'm right. Okay, so let's multiply denominator with denominator, numerator with numerator. 4 times 7 will give me 24. No, it will give me 28. Uh, that's a trick. So 28 divided by 5 and we will do the same. 28 is bigger than 5. So in this case, I need to repeat the 5 up until... I will have uh, a proper fraction. So 5. Okay. Now 5 over 5 will give me 1. 5 over 5 is 1. And this is another 1. So I have 3 now. That's 4. That's 5. So it will be 5. And the final fraction is a proper fraction, which is 3 over 5. Hope that you understood. Now, again, the denominator of 8 is 1 because if you divide any number by 1 or multiply it by 1, it will give you the same value. Okay, now let's multiply. How we um, I multiply fractions? Numerator multiplied by numerator, denominator with denominator. 8 times 5 will be 40 divided by... 7 and if you sim simplify it it will give you 7. okay now let's go to question number 6 now let's multiply we have here two denominators and two numerators so we already have the numbers no need to put one down so in this case multiply 8 times 8 will give me 64 3 times 7 will give me 21 okay now let's go to next number 2 times 4 down Multiply the denominator with denominator, numerator with numerator. 1 times 3 will be 3. 2 times 4, it will give you 8. And this also a proper fraction, so leave it. Next number, multiply numerator with numerator, denominator with denominator. 8 times 7 will give you 56. And 4 times 7 will give you 28. So in this case, we have here the common number is 7. So try to divide up and down by 7. 28 divided by 7 will give you 4. And 
60, uh, 56 divided by 7 will give you 8. So this is not the simplest form yet. Why? Because we have here two even numbers. So try to simplify it using 2. Divide up by 2 and down by 2. Four divided by two is two, and eight divided by two is four. And still need to simplify it. Divide by two again, so it will be one over two, the last simplest form. Why I didn't simplify this form? Because I have here three is a prime number divided by eight, and there is no relation between eight and three because eight cannot be divided by three. Okay, now let's go to number nine, a whole number multiplied by a fraction. So I will imagine that we have here one. So let's multiply two times three will be six and one times 11 will be 11. And this is the simplest form. Why again? Because 11 is a prime number. And 6 cannot be divided by 11. So there is no relation between 6 and 11. Or six, 11 cannot be divided by 6. Same. Let's multiply. Numerator with numerator. Denominator with denominator. 5 times 2 will give me 10. And 3 times 8 will be 24. So now I have two even numbers. We can divide by 2, up and down, of course. So I will put here in the middle. Uh, give me 10 divided by 2 is equal 5. 24 divided by 2 will be 12. And this is the simplest form because 5 is a prime number and 12 cannot be divided by 5. This fraction I will put here one under the whole number now let's multiply 8 times 7 will give me 56 divided by 12 so first try I have two even numbers so try to divide by 2 of course up and down 12 divided by 2 is 6 56 divided by 2 would be 8. Still even number up and down. So divide again by 2. Yes. 2 again. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 28 divided by 2 is 14. And now this is the simplest form. Why? Because... 3 is a prime number, 4 cannot divide by 3, but this is a, an improper fraction. So in this case, I need to write it as mixed number. So you have to repeat 3 up until you get a proper fraction or a number which is less than 3, right? So in this case, the answer will be 4 2 thirds. Okay, complete the statement with equal to, greater than, or less than. Okay, so let's see. Multiply 2 times 3 will be 6 over 3, right? So 6 over 3, if you divide 6 by 3, it will give you 2. So this means it's less than 3, of course, right? And that's normal because a fraction is part of something. This means the number will decrease if you multiply by a fraction. So this mean will be less. 5 sevenths multiplied by 3 will be greater, less, or equal 5 sevenths. So let's uh, check and see. 5 times is 3. This will here 1. No. 5 times 3 is 15. over 7, right? 
So, of course, 15 over 7 is bigger than 5 over 7, right or wrong? 